Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through pattern based software design. Okay, so even like previously we discussed when we are having any issues or bugs, we will be using patterns to resolve them. Like we discussed about multiple patterns, right? So similarly in software design also we are having patterns. Though the design process of software engineer should look for every opportunity to use the existing existing designs, design patterns when they meet needs of the design. So rather than creating a new one, the best option to be using is nothing but the previous patterns or software designs. So assume that you are you are working in a big company which did some thousands of projects guys previously. So sorry, thousands will be a bit lengthy number. So assume that they did almost 10 projects previously. Okay. So more so the company only accepts the web based projects like only websites. So only those projects they'll be working on. Okay. Okay. So if you have some common idea about websites, so most of the websites like around 80 to 90 percent websites will be having a particular login page and registration page. So is it necessary if you got you now you got 11th project in which this is also there. So is it necessary to again design this login page in this way, login in this way, the buttons in this way, everything you need to design again guys? No. So that will not be a best idea, right? So you have you already have 10 projects with the same modules so you can reuse them guys so this is the pattern that you will be observing and you will be reusing the code for the efficiency so that's what i told you should always check for the opportunities of reusing the existing pattern designs okay so mature engineering discipline makes the use of thousands of designing patterns so they'll be checking for multiple patterns even in some projects when a student is doing he will be checking online references and we will be using multiple modules directly from the internet so all those things are nothing but based on the patterns and based on the requirements we are doing those things. Okay. So how a design pattern template will look like. So it will be having a pattern name. So that is nothing but it will be having a short name. It will be having the intent. So basically these pa process patterns will also be written on a small sheet. Assume in that way guys. So the template of this will continue these things guys. Okay. First there it will be having the pattern name. Then it will be having the intent that is nothing but describing the pattern what it is doing or what it will be done for what we are using and the next one is nothing but also known as so we will be giving some list of names which are related to that particular module similarly we will be writing the motivation that is nothing but provides an example of the problem so that will be clear for the programmer who is working on it now and application we will be writing down the situations where you can apply that particular pattern and then we will be writing the participate that is nothing but describes the res responsibilities of the classes that are required to implement the pattern. Okay, then we'll be writing structure. The structure is nothing but how or where the, it should be implemented in a class or anywhere. Okay. Similarly, related patterns. So cross references related to design patterns is also done. Okay, so these, these are the components in the patterns guys. In process patterns, not in process patterns, in design patterns. Okay. So using patterns in design, design patterns can be used throughout the software design. The problem description is examined at various levels of abstraction to determine if the related, if it is related to one or more type of patterns. So basically you need to do a proper analysis before selecting a process guys, before selecting a proper pattern, you need to do some analysis also. Okay. So you'll be checking for architectural patterns. So these patterns define the overall structure of the software. So it should match with your current structure of the software only then you can apply. So assume that the your previous modules are designed for some other programming language and now you are using for some other programming language will those both you can use the reference but you can not use the same pattern guys. So that is the reason why you should take care of the structural and uh, everything should be almost the same or the same pattern model. Okay. So indicate relationship among the subsets and components. So define rules for specifying the relationship among the elements it should also be there similarly design patterns so these patterns address a particular specific element guys okay which is being designed so to be solving a particular problem okay so that comes under design patterns similarly coding patterns so i told you right reusability of the code will be coming here so these are also called idioms so these languages specifies the patterns generally implements an algorithm Okay, so elements of components, a specific interface protocol or a mechanism for the communication among the components. Okay, so at the end we'll be continuing concluding with framework guys. So what is a framework? 
so framework is not an actual architecture it is just a skeleton guys so but rather a skeleton with a collection of plug points so where we can connect or we can hook anything you want so also called as hooks and slots that enable it to adopt to any specific problem domain okay so this is all about uh, the introduction to patterns based software designing so i hope everyone got some basic ideas right about the design process and everything so in the next unit we will be discussing about the architectural design model modeling components at level and user interface so these all things we'll be discussing in our next unit guys okay so in the next lecture we'll be going through some important topics of the third unit and after that we will be moving on to the fourth unit okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching